Remember when Laura Prepon and Ben Foster got divorced? I do, because it just happened. It was July 2016 when 36-year-old Laura Prepon and 35-year-old Ben Foster were seen smooching in NYC. The pair had known each other since they were teenagers, but it wasn't until the summer of 16 that they embarked on a full canoodle where they spent Independence Day in Jersey all over each other. Laura had previously dated Chris Masterson, yes, Scientologist brother of Danny Masterson, and Ben had just gotten out of his engagement to Robin Wright. It was rumored that Danny was the one who brought Laura and Ben together. Oh, cute. The couple moved quick, both launching their relationship and engagement that October on the red carpet at the Girl on the Train premiere. The pair celebrated their engagement by Laura getting knocked up, and they welcomed their first fetal collab, Ella, in August of 2017. The couple were married in June of 2018 in a private ceremony with Laura sharing the news via the gram. By 2020, they had added a new member to their family, a son, which Laura announced again via the gram. They said that as a family, they had decided not to release his name, that because they're in the public eye, they discuss these things as a family and determine if they're comfortable with it. Then... That June, she told a very cute story about how when they brought their son home, their daughter literally marked her territory by running into her play tent, taking off all of her clothes and peeing on everything. I know I would be totally comfortable with my mom sharing that story publicly, but not my brother's name. In August of 2021, Laura finally revealed that she was no longer involved in Scientology. She did become involved in the church when she started dating Chris Masterson, but that she hadn't practiced the religion in five years and that Ben had never been a part of Scientology. She never divulged why she left, but some theories are, one, that Ben is Jewish and that's why she happened to bail on the cult. I mean, religion. And the second theory is that her leaving coincided with the first round of accusations against Danny Masterson. So that must have been why. Now, Laura's name was involved in one of the victim's cases where it was believed that she had aided in trying to silence one of Danny's victims in the church's bid to label his victim a suppressive person. Leah Rimini called out Laura for not divulging why she chose to leave the cult. I mean church. But people were also not pleased that she stayed silent about Danny, and I know that there's been an echo chamber of why should she have to speak? She's not the one that hurt those girls. Well, she did hurt them by trying to silence their claims, and given how incredibly close she was, is, to the Masterson family, a little I stand with victims might have gone a long way. People want to know who they're supporting. I know that's a difficult concept for some, mostly other terrible people. And because the behavior on this app is so easy to predict, yes, I do believe that it would have gone further than Ashton and Mila saying the exact same thing because Laura didn't write a letter of support for Danny and wouldn't have been trying to save herself from being tied to the pyre. Considering that Laura said that she made the choice to leave the church when she became a mother, the logical conclusion would be that maybe Scientology wasn't a positive force in her life. Otherwise, why would you leave? Because you became a mother. Why'd you leave, Laura? Where's Shelley? The couple continued to live their life privately, occasionally rolling up to premieres and award shows like the Critics' Choice Awards in January 2023, and even though they will never make me like you, Laura, this green dress was pretty good. But then on November 12th of this year, 2024, headlines read, Ben Foster files for divorce from wife Laura Prepon after six years of marriage. Ben cited irreconcilable differences, still waiting on someone to pick incurable insanity, and stated that they were no longer able to live together successfully as husband and wife. He initially listed the date of their separation as September 9th, 2023, and people were like, oh, wait a minute, that was two days after Danny Masterson's sentencing, leading them to believe that it had something to do with their separation. However, Laura's reps were quick to note that it was a clerical error on Ben's end and that his lawyers were working to amend the date to 2024. They opted to enforce their 2018 prenup and had already agreed upon a parenting plan. Apparently, the two have been living apart for months with Ben in LA and Laura in Tennessee. I hope you liked this one. Thanks for watching. If you didn't like it, you're going to be a gremlin in the comments. I'm blocking you. Full stop. My patience is as thin as Laura Prepon's integrity. Good day and may the cult be with you.